Our National Affairs Editor Javed Ansari now joining us. Uh, Javed, Ar Arvind Kirjival, Delhi Chief Minister, first claiming he didn't want the people of Delhi to join in his protest, but coming out there and making it very, very vocal, almost like he's going back to his activist days, you know, sort of attacking the Delhi police, uh, claiming that he can't stand there and watch them commit these atrocities. But the Home Minister rightly so saying that the Chief Minister should actually respect the judicial procedure that, that, that is in place for a case like this. Well, indeed, and that's the laid down procedure. There can't be an exception and there should not be an exception, whether it's for Mr. Kejival or Mr. Shinde or for me and you. There, there is a laid down procedure and that needs to be followed. Let's not forget, this is, this is not about that particular Khirki incident alone. Listening to Mr. Kejival speak today, I get the distinct impression that Mr. Kejival is working to a larger agenda. He wants to keep the pot boiling till the Lok Sabha elections. And he's also hoping that by making Delhi police an issue, he will force the central government to hand over Delhi police to, uh, to the Delhi government. This is not uh, something that is envisaged in the scheme of things, Delhi being a union territory. Nonetheless, this is a two-pronged strategy. He wants to keep the political pot boiling till the Lok Sabha elections and he, he believes this is an emotive issue. The courts have taken cognizance of it. They are acting against, they have issued, they have, they have registered a case against his minister. Very intelligently, Mr. Kejival is deflecting attention, making this, this whole thing seem as if this, is, this stems out of his, his concern for the law and order situation in the country, in, in Delhi, which indeed is a very emotive issue for the citizens of Delhi. Absolutely, and uh, obviously, Javed, what Arvind Kirjiwal is doing, it's not really gone down well. The AAP may just be losing the battle entirely because it's not gone down well. A, with uh, you know former IPS officers, Delhi cops, analysts, and definitely a lot of loyalists of the AAP. Look, the jury is still out on whether this has gone down well or not. Assuming for argument's sake that it is even going down well with, with, with people who have supported them. This is not the way things have to be done. This this a lot of people are calling it anarchy. A lot of people, you know, you you can, and it's one thing. While the while the honeymoon period is still on, you can continue with it. But slowly, these things keep chipping away, and one day, Mr. Kejival and his supporters will realize that the people of Delhi have had enough of it, because there are real issues that they want uh, resolved rather than uh, resorting to such high voltage uh, uh, public dramas. Right, so Javed, just, just explain to us what happens now, now that the centre has granted, you know, this permission for the AAP to like stage this, to stage this dharna. What, what happens now after this, now that the Home Minister has Look, said there, that they have, to, they have to respect the procedure in place? Look, there are two possibilities. Either uh, Mr. Kejibal and his associates will see reason, they will after some time go and meet with the, uh, meet with, uh, the central government, Mr. Shinde and others and then call it off or if he wants to escalate it he may say that this dharna will continue till till the central government buckles down and either transfer suspends or transfers uh, the the errant cops so he this is a this is a standoff he's trying to precipitate issues and he's just trying to you know draw as much mileage like i said earlier he wants to keep the political pot boiling absolutely and uh, if you can just the, the, what what uh, you know the AAP essentially what they also need to do is also look at uh, these severe charges that have in fact been leveled against uh, the, De the Delhi law minister Somnath Bharti. So not only were the courts involved, the MEA had to get involved with pacifying several African ambassadors after you know the severe embarrassment faced for those for those Ugandan students, and also a petition filed with the NHRC and the NCW for the treatment meted out to these women. So the AAP before sort of pointing fingers at the Delhi police, when are they actually going to take action against you know their own law minister and sort of introspect what's going on within their party? Well, this is something for Mr. Kejival and for his ministers and for Sena elements like Mr. Yogendra Yadav, etc. to ponder over. Vigilantism is good to, to a certain extent. Beyond a point, you know, there will come a time when people will get fed up of this and this will start boomerang boomeranging. How can you adopt an attitude like that where women, whether they are from Africa or whether they are Indian citizens or wherever they are from, they deserve to be treated with a certain amount of respect. You can't ask them, you know, you can't make them go through the kind of things. He's saying that there was a prostitution racket going on. I mean, what is the proof about, you know, they may have a, may have a lifestyle which is totally different than ours, but to then immediately bracket them and say that there was a prostitution racket going on, I mean, you know, Mr. Kejival is now the Chief Minister of Delhi. 
perhaps he and, and if he really believes that was happening then they must substantiate it because they have this has a lot of international uh, ramifications african ambassadors have protested with the government of india and this could escalate into a row which which india could do well without Absolutely, Javed Ansari, our National Affairs Editor, thank you so much for bringing us that update. This is as uh, Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi Chief Minister, just about addressed all his supporters after the centre granted him permission to stage a protest outside the MHA.